Hello, um, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to plot faults, trust faults, normal faults, and low angle normal faults in QAIS. Okay, so this is a series of tutorials that we were developing in order to represent them, uh, to, in order to represent the geological features on a map uh, with the best resources available in QAIS. Okay, so let's start with our tutorial. You are going to receive in this, well, this is the results of the tutorial, so let's start. You are going to receive in the description of the video the compressed version of this folder. So in this folder, you are going to have the some chip files, um, some styles and so on. So let's start by opening on the map unit police. Okay, so and as well the contact of all chip files. Okay, so here we are going to give some styles to the geological units in order to have a better presentation of our geological units and as well of our faults. Okay, and contacts. So let's go properties. Here will be categorized by description and then here will be match to symbol from files and here you're going to receive under the style folder a geology ah okay i have to classify it first and then match to symbol from file geology okay and then apply but i have to give some transparency because i will plot a topographic map behind okay so here okay is with 50 percent transparency and then i will add a topographic map okay great okay so here we have the geological units together with a geographical map so with that it will i mean uh, why we do this because the original the original map is this one Okay, it's a map developed by the USGS. It's really rich and it's really heavy. It's around 100 megabytes. Okay, and it has cross section. So, however, the map we uh, the purpose of this tutorial was to was to represent the most the the most um, types of geological symbols in our map so it will be and you will see that our results are really close to what you find in this tutorial in this map so okay so first let's go here let's go to properties and then we are going to see a uh, rule based okay why rule based because we don't have symbology for all the contact and fault types okay we have for contacts for normal faults, long angle faults, and trust faults. So we have just for four, okay? So we are going to add contact, contact, geological contact, contact will be uh, where type, because we use the type field, is equal to contact okay so if you see i haven't typed anything so type is equal to contact and then here is 0 0.26 color is black and that's it okay apply and then we have the contacts all our contacts okay the default one we is not longer required so we delete it and then we find another one that will be normal faults. Normal faults. Okay. And this will be where type is equal to fault normal. Okay. Okay. And then here, what we are going to use is uh, a line okay we need a line that but in the stroke width is 0 0.442 and plus we are going to add another line but in this case it's not a simple line it's a marker line okay it's a marker line 
And instead of simple market, is a SVG marker. Okay, it's a SVG marker. And here I have to expand this. Here I have to expand it. And then here down, we are going to select. Okay, we are going to select from the symbology that you are going to find under the geological symbols the normal fold. Okay, line for normal fold. Okay, uh, line for normal fold, select it here on marker, the size will be four. Okay, great. And here on distance will be 10. So here will be 10. So here will be four. And here we select this SVG. So we type OK and we type apply. And with that, we get the, the normal folds. Mm -hmm. And then next, what we are going to do is the long angle normal folds. Low angle normal folds. And this is where this type, that is the attribute, is equal to low fold normal low angle. Okay, and then here it is 0 0.42, and this is black, so this is the line, so actually, okay, but I have to add the marker, okay, so the style, the distinctive style of low angle number of fold. So here on line will be marker line, and here it will be SVG marker. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then here, and as a SVG marker, we have to be sure that we've got enough space because we have to look for this window where we are going to use the uh, low angle number normal fold. Yeah, low angle normal fold. Here, low angle normal fold. Then here, the size is four. And then the distance here is 10. And the distance and the size is really up to you. I mean, in this case, I have used this distance and these cases, but for you, I mean, it could be anything. And then these are the low angle normal fold. And the, no, the, the low angle normal folds are these ones. Okay, I don't know if you see the, okay, these ones are the low angle normal folds. Okay, and then we are going to add the trust folds. Trust folds. Mm -hmm. Trust folds. And the filter will be type equal to fold trust. Okay, because there are other that is the reactivated, but in our case we are only going we have only symbology for the trust folds. Okay, later on I will tell you how you can make your own symbology that is really easy as well. So here fold trust. Okay, and here we type 42. Okay, and then we add another line that is a marker line, and here is a SVG marker, and then here let's go down, and then we are going to look for the line truss fold here. Okay, line truss fold here on marker, the size is four, and here the distance is ten. So, and then we type OK, and then here we type Apply, and then OK. Great! So, if you see this, okay, especially here, if you see this, and then if we compare with the original one, that is around here,
okay one more zoom mm -hmm. so the, the, if you see this contact okay is this contact if you see this contact is actually this contact is actually this no this fold is actually this fold okay this fold is actually this fold and this fold is actually this fold i mean and under i mean if you explore more and then you get really um interested on that you can do your own symbology you can play around with the sizes in order to represent exactly the same or like what you want that it, it will be enough for you okay and but um finally we have to i'm going to rename in order this is well not for this tutorial but for the final lay for the final map creation actually we have to um we have to modify the share file name on the on the layer name and what else okay if you want to do your own symbology what i strongly recommend is that you install inkscape on your computer okay and then when you for example the logo the svg that is a standard of vector graphics uh, the SVG for low for a normal fold is this one, okay? And well, if you play around with the software as well, you can create your own symbology. And then, for example, you can create symbology for some fold types that are um, um, particular for your site, or maybe you are not maybe the symbology varies for your site as well and then you have to modify it you can modify it with no such complexity i mean you the software is is really is really easy and, but maybe you have to spend some time um, figuring figuring out what is in the software okay so is it's in scape and it's free and it's open source okay so all the files of this tutorial will be in the description of the video and this is a series of there is still one more tutorial that is the one that um, that is the one that do the anti clients and the sign clients because if you see here there are I mean, there is no anti clients and sync clients because there are uh, anti client, overturning anti client, sync client, overturning sync client. So we have to do all of this. Um, and then finally, we are going to create a geological map. Okay, so I think that this will be. Um, this is all for this tutorial. Thank you for following us. Uh, follow us, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I hope to see you in coming tutorial, webinars, or courses. Um, have a great day. Bye bye. Bye.